The 2024 Kia Sorento X-Line SX Prestige makes an immediate impression with its striking 20-inch black wheels and jungle green paint, overshadowing even its redesigned grille and lighting elements. Among the various Sorento models we've tested, this one stands out the most. The 2024 Mid-Cycle Refresh also introduces notable enhancements, including new interior technology. Overall, the updated Sorento feels like a blend of significant advancements with a few minor setbacks. Interior, Arifa Indri 3. Entering the cabin of the 2024 Kia Sorento X-Pro from the 2023 model provides a sense of comforting familiarity. Many controls, such as those on the steering wheel and lower center console, remain unchanged. A noteworthy update is the switch from a rotary shifter to a traditional gear stock, which is equally user-friendly. The spaciousness is retained, with the lower trim, non-hybrid Sorento Seating 7, while this model seats 6, offering ample space in the first and second rows. As a smaller adult, I found the third row comfortable, and my three-year-old daughter fits well even with her bulky car seat. With one of the third row seats folded down, there's sufficient room for a Costco grocery run for the family. Luxury with a price tag. Priced just over $48,000, this model is one of the priciest Sorrentos available. The SX Prestige trim means fully loaded, in Kia terminology, featuring standard additions like a new digital rearview mirror, a heated steering wheel, heated second row seats, one-touch power windows for the passenger, and rear door sunshades. While I wasn't fond of the untextured wood trim or the hard black surfaces on the doors and dashboard, the plush green leather seats included in the Sage leather package compensate for these minor flaws, nicely complementing the green exterior. The eye-catching wheels are part of the X-Line equipment level, which also includes black body trim, a sturdy roof rack, and a locking center differential for a touch of ruggedness. However, for true off-road capability, the all-terrain tire-equipped X-Pro model is the one to choose. Tech Triumphs and Shortcomings The refreshed 2024 Sorento's most significant upgrade is its impressive new digital screen setup, alongside the welcome addition of wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The dashboard now features a long, curved display combining a digital instrument cluster on the left and an infotainment touchscreen on the right. This upgrade addresses our previous criticism of the outdated touchscreen, offering simpler menus and improved touch responsiveness. However, the surrounding controls could be more user-friendly. Below the main screen is a horizontal panel that switches between climate and infotainment functions with a button press. We've consistently disliked this dual-function digital control panel, which has appeared in several new Kia models. Control Challenges The most frustrating aspect of the Sorento's control interface is the dual-purpose volume knob, which also serves as a temperature control knob depending on the active setting. I often find myself inadvertently adjusting the temperature when I meant to change the media volume, and vice versa. This unnecessary extra step of checking the current setting before performing such a simple function feels cumbersome. Advanced Driving Assist Our test model, like many upper trim Sorrentos, included an upgraded version of Kia's Highway Driving Assist HDA, with automatic lane change functionality. HDA excels at keeping the SUV centered in its lane and smoothly navigating curves. When the car ahead moves to another lane, the Sorento gradually accelerates to match the flow of traffic. When HDA is active, a helpful graphic appears between the two instrument cluster gauges, providing a visualization of your blind spots. This feature, depicting the Sorento's position relative to surrounding cars, enhances the sense of security when preparing to change lanes. Performance, quick but not entirely comfortable. Our test SUV featured the most powerful engine in the Sorento lineup, a 2.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine delivering 281 horsepower and 311 lbft of torque. Given the all-wheel drive Sorento's power, its fuel economy is respectable at 2027 MPG City slash highway. The engine provides ample power for highway merging, with a robust sound as it accelerates to 60 miles per hour in 6.7 seconds. This is 0.7 seconds quicker than our long-term 2023 plug-in hybrid Sorento test vehicle, which has 20 fewer HP and 53 fewer LBFD. Its strong acceleration is comparable to a similarly powerful 2022 Honda Passport Trail Sport, which reached 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds. Another V6 powered rival, 
The 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee took 7.3 seconds to hit the same mark, braking and handling performance. The 2024 Sorento X-Line impressed in our braking test, stopping from 60 miles per hour in 118 feet. This outperforms the plug-in Sorento's 123 feet, the Passport's 132 feet, and the Grand Cherokee's 142 feet. However, our test team noted that the brake pedal had a long travel distance and felt mushy, described as, like you're pushing through pudding. Braking issues reappeared during our handling tests, where the pedal was found to be soft and ineffective. On a positive note, power delivery was sufficient, and the transmission consistently placed the Sorento in the correct gears, eliminating the need for manual shifting. Transmission and Ride Quality Despite these strengths, the 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission isn't without flaws. As noted in previous reviews, it hesitates at low speeds, impacting smoothness in city driving. Additionally, the Sorento's 20-inch wheels and lower-profile tires, while stylish, contribute to a firm ride and more body roll than anticipated. The 2023 Sorento plug-in hybrid I've driven for several months offers a smoother ride on 19-inch wheels and has more relaxed steering. Similarly, the 2024 Sorento X-Pro, equipped with 17-inch wheels, has been praised for its comfortable ride, steering, and maneuverability. One area where the Sorento lives up to its athletic appearance is its tight turning radius, making U-turns easy for such a large SUV. The steering becomes heavier in sport mode, but it doesn't transform the Sorento into a small SUV in terms of agility on twisty roads. Worth it? After returning the keys and getting back into my older Sorento a week later, I found myself missing the SX Prestige's advanced screen, wireless smartphone connectivity, and additional driver assist features. However, I quickly readjusted to the plug-in hybrid's comfortable and easygoing nature. While the Sorento X-Line SX Prestige is certainly capable as a daily family vehicle, I'm not entirely convinced it's the best option for practical buyers. Yet, as I take one last look at the Sage Beauty, I can't help but second-guess my decision. 2024 Kia Sorento X-Line SX Prestige – Luxury Meets Adventure The 2024 Kia Sorento X-Line SX Prestige isn't your average midsize SUV. It blends luxurious comfort with rugged capability, making it an attractive option for families who crave both style and adventure. Let's see how well it delivers on this promise thrilling performance, and off-road capability. The SX Prestige boasts a powerful turbocharged 2.5-liter I-4 engine, churning out 281 horsepower and 311 lbft of torque. This translates to a thrilling driving experience, with reviewers estimating a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of a brisk 6.0 seconds. All-wheel drive comes standard, and the X-Line trim adds unique visual touches that hint at its off-road prowess. Luxurious comfort and packed with tech. Step inside the SX Prestige, and you're greeted by a cabin swathed in leather with heated and ventilated front seats and heated second-row captain's chairs. A heated steering wheel adds another layer of comfort, especially on chilly mornings, 